how to add a booking calendar to canva website hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial in today's video i'm going to show you how you can add the booking calendar or the calendly booking calendar to your canva website the process is going to be very easy and very simple so you are going to head over canva.com sign in for an account and then you are going to create a website or head over your website in our case, we have already a website, so we are going to click on it. And from here, we are going to publish our website or make sure that it is at least published. So once you are here, we're going to wait for the website to load up. As you can see, it is going to be loading up here in just two seconds. Boom. Now we're going to make sure that we are going to add a specific page or a page that will contain that calendar. So we are going to click on add page. So basically I'm going to make this page here before the end. We're going to set up some process for that specific page. We're going to add some text like a big heading in here. I'm going to put it here at the top and I'm going to put a title like, for example, book a, let's say here a session or let's say book your, uh, book your service or a session here for example here or book a session so I'm going to make sure that I'm going to put it or stick it to the middle let's go ahead and modify the font of it so I'm going to make it a little bit more professional so the font is going to put some charisma into this specific page now what I'm going to do since the booking or the page of the booking is going to be longer, I'm going to increase the height of the page or the section in here. So I'm going to put it at least like that and then we can regulate it. Now what I'm going to do is basically to head over Calendly and for those who doesn't know what is Calendly, this is going to be a easy scheduling platform that will help you to create some booking appointments to uh, set up the services also you can go ahead and set up the appointments for a class or for example if you are going to present a class or a presentation uh, a meeting and also or a group of meeting so we are going to have the free access to the app or the platform and so we are going to need some uh, pro features or let's say paid features that are going to be on the paid plan so you can go ahead and sign up with Google, Microsoft, or the standard email. I'm going to log in into my account first, and then we are going to set up the process. So here we are on the dashboard of our Calendly account. We're going to see here the different meetings or the uh, booking pages that we have created. As you can see, this is a, uh, I'm going to let you view the booking page. So this is basically the demonstration of a booking page. Basically, we are going to add this page or integrate it into our Canva website. So you are going to see here everything about uh, from the information about the meeting, for example, the duration, uh, the physical or the digital uh, place for that meeting. Also, you can go ahead and set up and extend the meeting by selecting the date. Also, it will show up the availability of yours, like the date and time. Also, you can go ahead and set up this. And from here, you're going to put the, or let the customers set up the, their name, the email, and they can also add some guests if you are going to allow them. And here, go ahead and put a question for what they need for that specific meeting, and then they are going to schedule the event. If it is going to be a paid event, they are going to pay you in advance. And if it is going to be a free event, they are not going to pay anything. So aside from that, I'm going to show you how you can create a booking calendar in Calendly. Basically, we have this particular side of the website, which is going to be the control panel. We're going to see this left side here. You're going to see the event types, for example, the meetings, the availability, the contacts, workflows, integration apps, and etc. So what can we do here? We are going to start by creating the calendar. Click on create. Now we are going to see three types of events. We have the event type, 
So you're going to create a new template for your regularly scheduled events. We have one off meeting. That means that you are going to set up a meeting for only one time. You're going to invite someone to pick a time to meet with you. This is going to be a regularly for sessions, trainings, coachings, and also master classes. So for the meeting poll, it is going to schedule a group meeting after offering times for a vote. So you are going to put here a vote or a poll, and the result of the vote is going to be the date of that specific meeting. So basically you are going to put here some dates that you're going to allow your, the users or the visitors to set up as the time of the event. So I'm going to put here an event type, for example, then we are going to see multiple event types. We have, for example, one on one. We have group meeting. We have collective, so more than one host with one invitee. For example, here you are going to use that as, let's say, here business class, not business class, but business propositions or a business meeting. Like you have a client and you are going to be a corporation or a company that you are going to put an interview in uh, for. Let's say you're recruiting a member or negotiating a business with someone. So we have the round robin, which is going to be one rating host with one invitee. So here you're going to see the purpose for each one of them. For example, this one on one good for coffee and etc. I'm not going to enter in the details, but I'm going to put a one on one, for example. Here we are going to select the color of the event. So I'm going to pick this. The name of the event is going to be here. Um, let's say something like um, a consultation or business or e-commerce site or website. For example, consultation. Just something like that. The duration you are going to choose from between 15 to a custom number of minutes. I'm going to put it as 30 minutes. Location is going to be, for example, phone call, in-person meeting, a lot of options that are available. So you can go ahead and set up Zoom. Then you are going to connect your Zoom integration in here. So I'm going to delete Zoom, for example, I'm going to add the phone number, or I'm going to set up the in-person meeting like this. So I'm going to type in just an example in here, click on update, boom. Now we're going to click on continue. So basically, this is the first step. Now we are going to set up the event details, for example. And you can go ahead and set up events like this. So you are going to add the description. And here, the host and invitee are going to either allow the, get, the uh, invitee to add some guests or not. I'm not going to allow that. So the scheduling setting, as you can see here, you can go ahead and set up the scheduling settings. So you can schedule 60 days. Uh, before so for example in the future we're going to set up only 30 day in the future so within a date range and definitely into the future this doesn't matter a lot you can add a buffer time for example here before the event like one hour or 30 minutes you can add a minimum notice daily limit and etc i'm going to save and close so the booking page option, you can add here some options like the invited questions and also the uh, things in here. So the name and the email, these are going to be the cases. You can modify these if you want. And this question, you can also put it. So collect a payment on form. You can go ahead and click on collect payment. And then you, you need only to upgrade to get the payment session in here. And then if you have set up everything, you're going to see the navigation and workout workflows. You can as set up here the calendar invitation, text reminders, email reminders, and follow-ups. Then you are going to have everything in here. So everything is set, everything is okay. We're going to click on share. So here we are going to need only a link. So we are going to not add it to website because it is going to be an embedded code and Canva does not allow embedded codes. We are going only to have this link. We are going to click on here. You can of course customize it, I think. 
now you can go ahead and click on customizing here and this is the customization i think now we're going to head over canva i'm going to click on the app in here click on embed and then we are going to wait for the app so it is going to be a blue logo app we're going to click on this this is the app i think that you've saw it this is the app so we are going to paste the link in here click on add to design and you are going to see it popping up so we are going to give it a little bit of time so it is going to be added just right there so here we have the calendly calendar as you can see i'm going to put this text on the forward so we are not going to lose that so just like that i'm going to put this specific um window in here i'm going to put it to the middle boom this is it this is what we need exactly and as you can see here we have the thing so i'm going to preview here and let you see that we have integrated the calendar in here so it is going to take a little bit of time to load up well boom here we have it it is a fully functional calendar so you can go ahead and put here some text as you can see i'm going to put this bigger and you can schedule for the event boom that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content i hope to see you soon on the next one